and a friend. Good morning. This is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show. I'm going to put that up there so you guys can see it. I'll do my little tracer, my little chaser thing. How's this? Dun, dun, dun. See it on the bottom there? The Magic Brad Show. Let me give you another little taste of uh, the Magic Brad Show stuff here. Dun, 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 dun. That's how you find it. TheMagicBradShow.com. See how that easy that is? So I'm going to do something that uh, first I'm going to make a cup of coffee. And then I'm going to take you into another room and uh, I'm going to go through some stuff on the whole home improvement world. For those of you that know, I used to be part owner of a company that did 10, 11, 12 uh, home improvement and design shows here in the Twin Cities area. And uh, now, uh, since the COVID thing, events aren't happening. So I'm going to share some information with you. So if you just stand by, let me get my coffee ready and then I'll take you into the other room. So hang on. Watch me make coffee. Here's how you do it. Take the coffee, you got a little scoop, a little scoop, so you scoop the coffee right in there like that. Da, da, da. Easy breezy. And then you take some milk. I use this rice dream, non dairy, tastes good. And that goes back in the refrigerator along with that. Put that on there like that. Oh, oh careful. Plenty of water. Put that here like this. It's on its way. So as uh, many of you know, a lot of the people in the home improvement world, a lot of them, um, they're, they're still doing business. However, it's going to be a different story in a year because uh, they can't do any marketing. Uh, they used to do things like the uh, Uptown Art Fair and the Stone Arch Bridge Festival and multi the multiple expos, trade shows, the Home and Garden Show, the, the Home and Patio Show, the Hopkins Home Show, the Home Improvement Design Expos, the uh, Minnesota State Fair. They used to be in the Minnesota State Fair. It's not around anymore. There's very few shows going on. There's a couple of troopers that are still uh, getting those trade shows done, but that's going to put a bubble in the pipeline, so to speak. A lot of these guys used to generate leads. They're doing work right now, but come next spring, they're not going to have the leads. So how are they going to get them? I've got a solution. So I'm going to go through some of the different uh, contractors and things that, uh, that are out there trying to make things happen. And uh, then I'm going to share with you a solution that I think I have. And uh, if you want to join my YouTube channel, by the way, you can go to, where is it? It is. You go to magicbrad.com right there. I've got a little banner that you can click that goes right to my YouTube channel. And if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm uh, looking to get more viewer hours so I can uh, be monetized on the YouTube channel. So you could help me out if you wanted to do that. So that's magicbrad.com. And let me put the uh, magic show, magic bread show up there. Um, on this domain right here, magic bread show, I've got a link that goes to a thing that I'm just starting to launch here to help uh, home improvement professionals find leads. There's the hot milk. Goes in here. We'll do another shot of caffeine, shall we? So I'm going to take you in this other room, and I'm going to show you again some of the uh, – what they're doing is they're doing direct mail. Or not direct uh, – direct response mail. Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you the coupons. And um, that kind of stuff is pretty expensive to be able to do those. And the reason this kind of came up is – I live right now in an apartment complex, yet I get this mailing from home improvement people to do roofing and siding and plumbing and heating and air conditioning. I have no need for it, yet they still spent their money to reach me. And uh, I'm not gonna hire their services, but I do wanna help promote them to homeowners, people that own homes that would use their services.
Perfecto. Okay. Let me take you for a walk. Stand by. I'm taking you for a walk. Take you into another room, into my studio. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I just take my laptop and I can ring into my other office here. Perfecto. Close the door. A little privacy. Okay. Here's what I'm going to show you. These are all these um, coupons and things. Here's Apollo Heating and Air Conditioning. This one is North Star Mini Storage. Now that's a little, not so much home, not so much home improvement, but uh, they would use to use mini storage if they had to store all their stuff temporarily while someone comes in and does some interior painting. So I use that coupon too. Another one. This is uh, blue. We paint houses. Coincidentally, I didn't put these in order, but a house painter. So see how relevant that is. Here's um, Oriental rugs. They clean them and they sell them. Here's Zero Res, someone else that does rugs. Zero Res. So these are all companies that I would like to help and uh, do some marketing for them using the internet as opposed to direct mail. What's this other one? Budget blinds. Can you see that? Budget blinds. Budget blinds. I'm trying to find all the, the marketing directors for these places. Flooring Expo. Burr, burr, burr. They're getting some free promotion right now. I'll be posting this up on YouTube and, and then uh, do some direct advertising to Twin Cities home owners, the people that own the homes. Twin Cities Finest. This is uh, air duct cleaning. That's something, if you haven't done that, you should be doing that now. Get that done. Um, Touchdown tile. Can't see very good there. <laughs> Touchdown tile. These guys all have these little coupons and stuff. ADT security. These days in this weird pandemic stuff, you might want to have some security around your house. There's weird stuff going on. Renewal by Anderson. Windows, windows. You got to have windows. And there's multiple other window companies, maybe not as big as Renewal by Anderson, but some others. And I'm looking to help those people contact these homeowners that want windows in their house. Here's Train Air Conditioning, Heating and Air Conditioning, Train. And this is uh, installed by Schwantis, Schwantis Heating and Air Conditioning. I hope all these people appreciate me giving this free exposure here. Here's a... Uh, Spotless and seamless exteriors. Spotless and seamless exteriors. Perfect. I'm getting better at this, ain't I? Here's Details Home Service. Details Home Service. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to see if we can get some business for these guys because I know they're going to have problems. Like I said, all these home shows and all these events and fairs and festivals that they used to be at to collect leads that they could send out to their canvassers to go out and talk to people and all that kind of stuff, call, all that. They don't have those leads anymore. Here's All-American Door Company. This is for garage doors. Sometimes you need that kind of stuff if you run into your garage door. ABC Seamless. It's, uh, they're local here. I think they're over on Excelsior Boulevard or something like that. Arbor Tech Tree and Landscaping. Arbor Tech Tree and Landscaping. These all came in one mailing piece. All these people are busy. Early Bird Electric, if you need to uh, fix something in your electric system or if you're doing an addition, you need it wired, they can take care of you. Minnesota Roofing Company. Sometimes people have that hail damage thing and they got to do some work, oftentimes covered by insurance, right? Twin Pines Tree Care. Twin Pines Tree Care. Do you have a tree that's getting too big and might fall over and Screw up your roofing? <laughs> Might want to take care of that. And um, it's not a good idea to get a ladder from the neighbor and go ask if you can borrow their chainsaw and then climb up there and do it yourself. It's dangerous. Hire the professionals. Midwest Roofing Siding and Windows. Okay, these guys do a lot of different stuff. Midwest Roofing, Siding, Windows. Here's Plumbing. 
Paul Bunyan Plumbing. Yes, sir. And here's oh, here's ABC Seamless. See, these are guys. These guys got the money, obviously, because uh, they did two printings and one mailing. So here's a air duct cleaning. This company is. They didn't really do a good good job of the logo and stuff on there. It's Minnesota Air Duct Cleaning. There's their website if you want to get to it. But uh, as far as branding, I don't really see much on this. They could do a better job, in my opinion. Builders and remodelers. Builders and remodelers. Dun, 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 dun. The Blue Ox Heating and Air. <laughs> I hear them on the radio because it's a little jingle. That must be expensive, doing that radio advertising. Blue Ox. But you got the money, you got to spend it. Got to pay to advertise. They say that something, when you don't advertise, something amazing happens. Nothing. Gutter helmet. This is kind of nice because this time of year, a lot of people have to clean the gutters out. If you have used gutter helmet, they used to exhibit in the Home Improvement Design Expo, I think. That puts a little cover on the gutter so the leaves don't go in there. The water just somehow magically flows over the top and still gets captured. And here's another one similar to it, leaf filter. So you got your competitors here, gutter helmet, leaf filter. Who's going to win? Who's going to catch the catch the, the early bird catches the homeowner, right? <laughs> and here's another one, neighborhood garage door service. Neighborhood garage door service. Another one, they don't really don't have a – a logo or any identity there. They do have some phone numbers, so that's, I guess, kind of helpful. But they could use some work on their branding, I think. Closets by design. I've seen these guys. This is like there's another one called California Closets. They, they put different shelves in different areas so you can maximize the use of your space because, you know, a lot of hot closets just have that pole going across there. And then there's a lot of space above and below, and they, they waste a lot of space, so. Closets by design. And here's the last one, three-day blinds. So it takes three days. I think that this might be an online thing. I'm not sure. I know there's a guy um, that uh, started a company. It's a blind company. I forgot what it's called. Like I can't remember. <laughs> okay, that's all I've got. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. That's all I got for today. Oh, I got a comment. I got a comment on here. Oh, this is my friend, Mike Wilkie. There he is, Mike Wilkie. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mike. For those that don't know, Mike's one of my favorite fans. He, uh, he's a cartoonist and magician and does cartoons for a, I think it would be an international publication for magic and magicians. Did you know that that exists? <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you. I'm going to beam this up to YouTube and propagate it out to some places. Um, hopefully some of these people that are spending all this money in Valpac and direct mail and money mailer and all that stuff. I hope this is working for them because I know it's fairly expensive. In fact, I thought about doing a Valpac. I have done a Valpac mailing for my magic business back in the 80s. I remember. I remember I did that. I can't remember her name. But I did a coupon trying to do home parties. Magic. But – I'm a semi-retired magician. If you need a magician, you need a magician really bad. I can refer one, or maybe I can do the gig. Maybe Mike can do the gig. <laughs> There's people out there. But uh, my thing nowadays is uh, online marketing. So that's all. That's all I got to say. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well. Be good. Be safe. I'll be doing another uh, presentation on my little program here at around 2.30. I'm going to be interviewing an insurance agent and a realtor. Okay. Peace. Be well, be safe, be kind. <laughs>